All right, this is Denise one more time. Um, I haven't been down here long, and I'm feeling bad. Uh, short of breath, uh, burning in my sinuses. Eyes are watering so bad I can't even see if I've got the camera focused. So, on this fifth anniversary, I think I'm going of the BP disaster. I think I'm going to uh, call it a night. It's also a little bit overcast, and uh, we are losing good light. Um, once again, I want to point out the oil that we have here. You see how that's oil and how it separates from the water? Um, I'm not dramatizing this. It's <laughs> Unfortunately, it's dramatic enough. Do you see this, ladies and gentlemen? Five years, and we're just in the beginnings of this. We are not going to be over this in my lifetime. Um, this will be with us for decades. Decades. Uh, what has been done um, cannot be fixed. It would have been had it been an oil spill. Um, well, it was an oil disaster, but if the oil was simply left to float to the top and we were then able to skim it off and clean it up, we would not be looking at what we're looking at today. We would not be experiencing the health impacts that we are. We would not have the loss of livelihood and way of living. We would still have fishermen. We would still, I mean, we still have fishermen, but they're, they're not surviving. Um, not making any money. So, thanks BP. Thank you government for destroying our way of life, for ruining the health and well-being of millions of people. Millions. There are 40, I think I've heard 41 million uh, that live immediately on the Gulf shores in the impacted areas. So go figure. And this is carried all the way up the eastern seaboard. It, uh, it's not limited to the coastline. Um, and it impacts the entire country um, and beyond. So April 20th, 2015, this is Denise. Rednor and I'm in Long Beach, Mississippi, signing off for today. God bless us, everyone. <laughs>